Well, ever since I was little, um, I had hearing problems. And um, whenever my brother and sister were in bed, my mom asked me to whisper. And I'd be like, what? I can't whisper. Well, we first noticed that Luke had uh, some issues with his hearing uh, when he was when he was a toddler, when he was around three years old. Um, just him playing while his little brother was taking a nap, and uh, and us telling him to you know to be a little bit quieter. Um, you know, Luke, can you please whisper? And I, but I am whispering. I am whispering. And and so he had some some issues already then, and uh, so. Uh, over the course of several years, we ended up doing hearing tests, taking him to different clinics, uh, all the way to the university clinic in Freiburg, where it was confirmed that he uh, had a very high loss of hearing in the high uh, high tones range, however you say that in English. <laughs> and, uh, and so, as a result of that, he had to wear uh, hearing aids in school, mainly in school, for, uh, for schooling. And that, of course, for a young kid is just not good and uh, so anyways long story short um, he was believing with us uh, parents with their child uh, believing that God was gonna heal him and we just knew it was a matter of matter of time it just happened to be that God decided to do it on a certain night as we had Michael Turner uh, in our church for a youth praise and worship night and my son Luke uh, went forward to to be prayed for as he has done actually many times in our church. I just felt a warmth through my body. Um, came over, prayed for me and all that. And then I uh, was raising my hand and I felt like God healed me right that second. Driving home that night he told me that as Michael Turner prayed for him and in just the atmosphere of faith there that he felt a warmth through his body and and so after that night, Luke, pretty much daily, uh, was asking if, if we would take him to his ear doctor because he wanted his ears checked again because he just believed that something has changed with his hearing. And bugged my mom and dad for about two months. Then we finally went to the doctor and we were going to get my hearing aid cleaned, of course, because um, they're all, you know, yucky. Uh, we as parents, we just didn't necessarily take it that seriously right off the bat. Even though we're pastors ourselves and we were believing in healing, but we just pushed it off a little bit. And uh, so, uh, long story short, about two months later, we ended up finally getting an appointment at the ear doctor and brought him there. And the doctor, as he was doing the ear test, uh, uh, actually, the German doctor said in English, as he finished the test, he says, hmm, very impressive. Very impressive. And of course we asked right away, so what does impressive mean? And he says, well, I just can't explain it, but uh, Luke's hearing has improved considerably. Uh, and as a result of this improvement in his hearing, Luke does not need to uh, wear these hearing aids anymore. He was shocked. He's like, I've never seen this in my life before. And then these are the ones that I wore for school and all that. And now I don't need them anymore. I asked the doctor whether or not uh, something like this typically happens. Does a person's hearing get better? And he said he can't explain it. Uh, he's, he's never experienced this before. Uh, and so it gave me an opportunity, <laughs> him knowing that uh, my wife and I that were pastors, gave me uh, the opportunity to explain to him, well, uh, Dr. Zickenheine, we, as you know, we're pastors and we believe uh, in God and we believe that God is a God that can heal us and that uh, with Him nothing's, nothing's impossible. And so we ended up going home with a happy boy, a healed boy, and the confirmation from the doctor that Luke is now healed. And then I started crying with my dad. He we went to the store, bought shoes, kind of celebrated with my family. God can heal you because if he can heal me, he can 